Most ocean lovers know there are big currents out there, like the East Australian Current here off Sydney, or the Lewin Current in Western Australia. But how many of them have heard of thermohaline circulation? That's seawater in there, from out there, and I'm going to fill some little bottles, one with more salty water, and I'm just going to add more salt. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of green food colouring so we can keep track of it. But then for comparisons, I'm also going to put in some fresh water. And the reason I'm showing you all this and what it's got to do with the ocean is the rain makes water less salty, but evaporation makes it more salty. And those two things drive what's called thermohaline circulation. You're going to love it. Now, I'm going to pop these in here. What do you reckon is going to happen when I take the lids off? The green will sink. Ooh, very good. And what do you reckon the red one might do? Rise. Beautiful. All right. So you take the red one off first and you get fresh water coming out. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. But if you take the green one out, that one goes down. But the big surprise is how little they mix. And when this happens out in the big bad ocean, it drives a circulation that goes from the South Pole or around Antarctica, pushes water right up to the Northern Hemisphere and it comes all the way back down again. But the reason this is really important, it drives this gigantic current which takes heat and transports it right around the planet. So we get a really constant temperature and we have a lovely little climate. And it's all thanks to the thermohaline circulation. Amazing.